guys, it's Kalani and Santana. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you guys for tuning in to another hair routine video. And for today, we will just be doing a quick and simple protective style. So if you would like to see the ending result of this protective style, just keep on watching. As always, I'll be starting off with freshly shampooed hair. If you would like to see the detailed video on how I shampoo and condition Kalani's hair, definitely watch his weekly shampoo and style routine video I will have linked below. So right now I'm just finger detangling his hair. I did detangle before shampooing by applying conditioner and using a wide tooth comb starting at the bottom and working my way up. But once I'm finished washing his hair, I do like to still go in and finger detangle his hair. So if there are any more tangles, any more knots, I will be able to fill them um, before using any type of styling tool like a wide tooth comb or a fine tooth comb. Because using a comb, it will snag it and actually pull out your hair. So I would rather try to work out the tangles and the ones that I cannot work out, I do have to go in with shears and cut the knot out. But for the most part, I am able to just take it, take my time and go strand by strand and just tug slightly on it and it will, it will detangle. But sometimes it doesn't. So we do have to cut them out. Now giving you guys a close up, this is exactly what I was talking about. These little fairy knots. Some of them, they come out and some of them, they just do not want to work with you. So we just got to cut it on out. Finally, we are done detangling and it is time to style. Now taking my handy dandy spray bottle and re-wetting Kalani's hair because his hair dries so fast, so fast. So I have to keep this water bottle on hand. So just parting his hair quickly, I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just trying to part it off into four sections. So as you can see, I just parted it right down the middle and taking a part down to his ear as well and just tying that off with a scrunchie. Also tying off the back section. And all of the supplies and products that I use in today's video, I will have them linked below for you guys. Now that I've tied off all four sections, I will be working on this back section, spraying it down with water and making sure I work that water in. For today's styler, we'll be using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Curling Buttercream. Making sure I get his ends really good, working my way up 
and also parting and sectioning his hair and applying it there as well, making sure every strand is covered and coated with product. Now taking the oil of your choice, today I'll be using grapeseed oil. The benefits of grapeseed oil is that it works as a natural sealant, it keeps moisture in the hair follicle, and it can also improve the shine and keeps your hair and scalp healthy. Now, Kalani is very young, but as people age, your scalp will produce less sebum. And less sebum means your hair is more dry, um, it is prone to breakage, and leads to thinning hair. So grapeseed oil is said to restore those scalp oils. And due to the high content of OPCs, grapeseed oil stimulates hair cell production, which is used as a natural remedy for baldness. Then that is amazing. But what I absolutely love about grapeseed oil for Kalani, it is very lightweight and it is not greasy at all. It doesn't leave any weird sticky feeling on his hair or anything. Now I'm bringing in the wide tooth comb, starting at the very ends of his hair and working my way on up. Now that we have all the sections detangled, product and sealant applied, we are really ready to get down with the styling. So I'm just removing all the scrunchies from his hair so I can start off by giving him all clean parts. And if you watch my previous videos on styling, you all know that I never have a style in mind. I just part his hair and whatever comes up as I'm braiding, that's the style he has. And hopefully the style comes out good. So we're starting off with a middle part. Just tying off the section that I will not be working on at the time, I will take my fine tooth comb, smooth out the section that I'm working on before making my part. Now at this time, I kind of have an idea on where I'm trying to go with this type of style. So I'm giving him like a curved part Now the section that I just made, I'm going to split that into two sections. And then once that is separated into two sections, I'm going to take the top section and part that down the middle and tie those off.
Now taking the bottom section and splitting that into two and tying those off as well. So now you see that I have four little sections and I'm going to make this into like a crisscross braid design. Now I'm going to remove the scrunchies that are diagonal from each other. I'm going to start by braiding that top section down and crossing it over and connecting it to the bottom section. Now this braid is complete. Now I'm gonna take the other two sections that's diagonal from each other, and I'm going to start braiding that top section just like I did the braid before, and crossing it over the previous braid and down to that bottom section, making it into a crisscross. Now take a look at that. Super cute, easy, simple. I love it. Now just giving him another curved part. I'm not gonna do a crisscross design this time. I'm just gonna go and just do just one braid down. Now when I get to the ends of his hair and I'm tying it off with the mini scrunchie, 
once I get to the last bit of the scrunchie, I don't pull the hair all the way through. I leave it like a little loop. Um, I've always done this to his hair. I just feel like it's protecting his ends just a little more. giving him a curved part once again, but this time I will be doing the crisscross design. Once again guys, splitting that section into two parts, taking the top section and parting it down the middle and tying those sections off. And doing the same thing for the bottom section, parting those into two and tying them off as well. Now that you have the four sections, you're gonna take the two diagonal ones, remove the scrunchies and start braiding from the top Crossing it over down to that bottom section. Now it's time to take the other two sections, starting at the top section, braiding that down to meet with that bottom section as we did before. At this point, Kalani is like, I am done. My little guy is so tired. He's sleepy. It's late at night. We're trying to do this. And when he gets tired, he starts moving around a lot, saying that he's cold. And it can be hot in the house, but he'll say he's cold. He want to snuggle up with the blanket. So I just got to try to make it work and do the best I can and work around all this moving.
Now we have made it to the very back of his head on this side. And instead of doing the straight down braid and then another cross braid, I'm just going to do two braids going down in the back. Okay, now we are all done with this side. Now it's time to do the exact same thing on the other side. And we are all done. I know Kalani is super, super happy that we are all done. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload our next video. And we will see you in the next one.